Ballroom dancing is the second most popular pastime in South Africa. It is passionately practiced by hundreds of thousands of devotees of all ages, classes and cultures. The highlight of the ballroom dancing year is this annual international competition at Sun City, where South African professional and amateur dancers compete with participants from all over the world. Competition is fierce, and after registration, the entrants primp, preen, and practice till the very last moment. Appearance is paramount, and parents and teachers bring a range of equipment, outfits and gadgets to beautify and decorate the dancers. Tension mounts as the finishing touches are made to the expectant competitors, who will be judged on presentation, poise and dancing expertise. Moves are rehearsed, ties are straightened, dresses are smoothed and numbers are adjusted. Heat number two onto the floor, please. themselves, watch their children go through their paces. It's a serious business, even for the youngest of dancers.
dancing because uh, so it's fun, right? And uh, dance, dancing is teaching us something that uh, other people don't. It's very good for a child to dance. You still go in the dance, practice, practice every day, one and a half hour every day. If you finish, you to study your homeworks and finish everything in your home. I love it. Uh, we think it is the part of our life. That is why we like it. And dancing is also interesting. It is the only way we can relax our mind from school. And... They don't go where, move around in the streets. So that is why I like it. Yes, he, he, doesn't want, he doesn't want to smoke. He doesn't want to drink. He's always happy like dancing. And I'm proud because at school she's clever. She gets number one and number two. As you, yes, as you go, I say. That's why I say she can go to the. She can go to dance. No, I just love dance because it keep me away from the street, from bad boys, just like that. And then since I started to dance at eight to two, yeah, I'm still dancing. I'm in four dance now, yeah, and I still want to go far. Uh, on how to live with people, in, in how to socialize, in how to behave themselves. They grow up very, uh, very good as human beings, and very good human beings. Uh, safety when they're coming to dance, they will not have problems like and drugs. they will be saved and they won't do other involved things. involved in drugs, in alcohol, something like that. They will be very safe, especially children. And they will know about the future and socializing with other people. I was just looking for the right channel to know where my child is every time. So this is, I think this is a good thing and he's trying. We are also trying the best. Uh, what I've learned is that uh, you get to know so many people and then it makes you feel great whenever, sometimes you achieve something in it. Then it makes me feel great whenever I have something. It shows that in my life I am improving from one step up to the next.
chance to dance with the lead. Give them a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. One of the leading lights in the ballroom dancing world is Priscilla Myberg, a former ballroom dancing champion from El Dorado Park, who has devoted the last 20 years to teaching ballroom dancing to children. For the past 20 years, I've been doing it free for the love of dancing and children. It keeps him off the street, crying doing unnecessary things like smoking, fighting. They feel so nice and fresh, getting back home, starting all over with their schoolwork. It really encouraged them to do better at school because they've got to give in this extra two hours, three or twice a week. I don't want running steps. Check the little ones, they should do it. I can't watch everybody. And uh, I can tell you the parents do appreciate me. I don't see a proper drag. I want you to use your big toe. Inside edge of big toe. The bigger boys, mine, the smaller ones. Please turn your foot and use your big toe. I'm not getting with this hold. Close all your fingers. This, the left side is the girl's side. And the right side, this is your side. I don't want to decide, right? This belongs to you. And here, my lady, is a mirror. Here is a mirror. You look yourself in the mirror, right? Right? Start with. You must stand for me, eh? Turn. I want to see you stand, right? Right. And a right around. I must see that. And you push out as you drop your back heel. I must see that. Okay. Now we're going to try and do it with partners. And then we include a New Yorker. And we include a time step. And if possible, a uh, shoulder to shoulder step. This is just basics. Watch the time step. That's called a time step. And that's, of course, the shoulder to shoulder. If you can go into your fan and hockey sticks today, we'll master it with the others next week. Go into a fan and hockey stick. And of course, it's a pen and hockey stick. And back to basics, and you do all four. Repeat that, okay? Back to your partners now. Back to your partners, let's see that. Diane, help me. Chantel, help me, look, help me. Spread out, don't stand in a circle now. Priscilla, solving a minor crisis, enters her students at the prestigious Sun City Finals. <laughs> Where's the partner? Hey, it's too early too. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've got to go to Jimbo. Where Jimbo you got to go? And it's not off with the ball.
And now to the semi-finals of the Junior Bronze Ballroom and the Jarvis. Dancing is a way of life, where people of all ages and backgrounds eagerly participate in this physically and spiritually rewarding activity. It's a discipline which is particularly effective for young people, promoting a positive and healthy lifestyle. It counteracts many of today's negative influences, such as violence and drug abuse, and promotes harmony and balance. <laughs> En la que tú los cafetales vuelven a sentir En el son de tu canción de amor de la vieja morieta En el letargo de la noche parece decir Cuando la tarde la gira se renace en las sombras En la que tú los cafetales vuelven a sentir the dancers samba and rumba their way through the Latin American finals. It's a magical world where reality is suspended in a fantasy of swirling satin and rhythmic moves. City halls from Cape Town to Bloemfontein, from Durban to Johannesburg, reverberate regularly with the lilting sounds of the quickstep, waltz and samba. In a country still suffering from the divisions of the past, ballroom dancing is an activity with many beneficial social implications, promoting unity, tolerance and understanding. It increases poise and self-confidence, involves the whole family and is entertaining and fun. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, whether you wear homemade outfits or couture gowns, you can dream of waltzing your way to the top. Competitions are a social occasion where families, babies, friends and relatives gather to support and encourage the competitors. at the Johannesburg City Hall is the highlight of the year for these dancers. 
Their hard work and perseverance might well win them a coveted trophy. Here, David Lazarus from Rheingold Furnishers, a committed ballroom dancing sponsor, explains the benefits of ballroom dancing. It's, uh, it's a way of breaking out of the problem areas that do exist where people do struggle because of economic difficulties. And I think the opportunity that's presented to them, because they're not making money, they're, they're dancing for trophies. So there's a tremendous competitive spirit amongst them. And really, in the end, they're getting a trophy as evidence of their commitment to dancing right through the year. And it's just a wonderful recreational activity that they participate in. It's a time for celebration for the winners, from the teenager to the tiny tot, as they proudly accept their trophies. These rewards for hard work, discipline and persistence will no doubt inspire these dancers to greater heights in the magical world of ballroom dancing. Bop, 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 bop,